Hello. Hello, how is everyone? How is the music compared to my voice? Is it all perfectly balanced? And how is everyone doing today? I hope we are all doing well. It is time to watch me try and attempt to stream drawing some art again. For the first time in a while! I'm sorry if there's any technical difficulties or if my mic sounds bad. This is me throwing this together <laughs> um, after a long time of not streaming, so things will improve. My voice is quite loud compared to the music. How is that? Music any better now? I want you guys to be able to listen to these sick beats by Pretzel Rocks, allowing me to use free streaming music. Very nice. God, this is a Christmas song. <laughs> I've got it randomly streaming a game... A game playlist, I suppose. Is it like a... It's the chiptune playlist. Okay. Cool. It seems that everything is alright, so... I guess we should go ahead and start drawing some Jerry by the River. And start getting into this. I haven't drawn on stream for a very long time, so I might be a little rusty, but we'll we will see. We'll see what we can do. Figure out my my pen size first of all. All right. I'm going to draw how my Geralt is in the game right now, because I am actually uh, replaying Witcher 3. Uh, this is not this very moment, but as of the recent few months. And it's good fun, it's a good game. I got really sad about Cyberpunk not being like as accessible and bug free as I would have liked. So I went back to play Witch 3 and I've had so much fun with it. It's so good. So I'm starting off with good old Geralt of Rivia or Jerry by the River um, and then I think I'm going to do something simple. Um, Evie was requested there was a bunch of requests on Instagram, so I'm going to do those uh, today. And if we have time later, then I might do some requests on stream as well. I'll definitely do like an art request stream at some point where I just take requests on stream. Um, but today we'll just do we'll do this because I needed to have some some prep for this first one. <laughs> And I'm sorry if I don't interact with chat too much. Um, obviously, interacting with chat and drawing at the same time is a little difficult because I, I can't look at what I'm drawing and also look at chat at the same time. But you guys have fun. And I'll just talk nonsense about stuff and things, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I'm currently playing the Blood and Wine expansion, which I didn't play the first time I um, I went through Witch 3. I only played the the main game the first time. Um, so it's been really fun to go back and actually do some of the DLC. And it's a really friggin' big DLC. Like, people weren't kidding. <laughs> Lots of people, 
like obviously when it first came out were just like super impressed and surprised at how big the Blood and Wine DLC was. And I heard like tons of good things, but the original game was so big that well, by the time I'd like finished the main quest and everything, I was a little a little burnt out on Witcher. And I wanted to go and read the books because um, somebody at my old work had recommended the books to me. Um, so I prioritized that over like playing the DLCs and stuff. Uh, but the second time round, now that like I basically know what happens in the story and stuff, so I, I kind of burnt straight through it, uh, just kind of enjoying being in the world again and stuff. But this time, like getting to see the new the new content through the DLCs. Uh, so I played the um, Heart of Stone one as well, which is surprisingly, and not surprisingly, I guess it was just shorter. It was like what you would expect of a typical DLC length. Um, but that was fun as well, like nice little story within the same section of the world, just kind of like expanding it a little bit. And um, he needs a thicker neck. <laughs> I have not done this boy's neck justice. She's gonna redo this collar. Um, but yeah, Blood and Wine's been super fun so far. I've pretty much only done the side missions. I've like just started properly getting into the main quest stuff because it's just such a big world and I wanted to explore it. But it's been fun being Geralt again. I can't remember when I first played it. It could maybe it was like 2019? Early 2019? Something like that? Yeah, it was good to be back in it. So the requests we had today, there were two for Geralt, which is why he's the first one that I'm doing. He gets special privileges because you guys wanted him so much. Um, and then I had Dandelion being requested, so I will, if if we have time, get around to Dandelion. Um, and Eevee from Pokemon. And um, two characters from Bloodborne. I Friggin' love Bloodborne, so I would love to. I think I'm gonna try and do Maria, um, just to to balance out the types of characters that I'm I'm drawing. Like uh, Gascoigne was the other one requested, and I don't want to draw two grumpy graying men <laughs> in the same stream. Um, so I think I'm gonna do Maria, and the last one was Breath of the Wild Link. So. Hopefully we'll get round to most of those. I'm just going to do like sketching rather than finalizing them, but I might either finalize these in another stream or um, do them outside of stream and post them to Twitter and stuff and Instagram so that everyone can see the final results. I think that would be cool. Nice little practice for me as well get me outside of my typical drawing zone that I've been in as I've been pretty much nose to the grindstone trying to figure out business stuff and working on my first short comic which has been very fun but also very stressful and time consuming and consuming my brain as well. <laughs> I am using a reference for this armor because it is freaking complicated. <laughs> yes, Maria is scary wife. I do love scary wife, Maria. But doing the the fight with her the first time I got through Bloodborne. Oof, that took me a long time. I actually think her and Father Gascoigne are the bosses that took me the longest. 
So, like, the two that were requested actually ended up being the two that were the ones I struggled with the most. But they're damn good bosses. Gascoigne is, like, that first boss that you really just have to get good at the game to beat. I, I appreciate that. It's also cool that they add, like, a little story mechanic into it where you can, like, kind of get, like, a, like a benefit if you follow through the storyline, which I think is kind of cool. It shows you that, like, there are NPCs in the world that can aff affect how you actually play the game and stuff, which is rad, in my opinion, particularly for a game that is sort of all about the gameplay and not particularly about, like, shoving the story in your face. Okay. Screw the rest of these armor details for now. He broad. Got the big shoulders. It's from carrying the weight of the world. And two swords at the same time. I'm sure carrying two swords is bound to give you some good muscle density on your shoulders. And he has a strappy that goes down here. He's a strapping lad, and by that I mean he has a lot of straps on his body. the only way he can keep himself together. Alright, so chainmail goes down there. Like its head's way too small now. <laughs> I always do this every time I draw. I start with the head and then I draw the body and then the head's too small and I have to go and resize the head. It's probably still too small. I'll probably go back and resize it again. I'm glad that this is like a common problem that people seem to have. <laughs> I see a lot of artists talking about how they have to like go back and resize the head and stuff. I'm a I am assuming it's because like most people start with the head. I'm trying to think what I should do with his pose because I'm kind of just drawing basically standing there. <laughs> just stand there doing nothing. Good. I'm gonna do a messy thing. Thinking having him draw a sword would be fun. There's a big, big beefy arm. Now that might be too far back. This arm might be too big and beefy now. <laughs> One of the things I need to get used to with doing streaming 
particularly for doing art, again, is having everyone able to see how messy my process is and uh, how many mistakes I make. <laughs> He's got his big bulky gloves. I don't know which of his two swords he's drawing right now. You guys are just going to have to imagine what he's fighting, whether it's a monster or a humanoid. Feel free to discuss in chat what kind of monster you think Jerry is fighting right now. This arm is bad. <laughs> That's what I get for trying to completely free draw something. Spare at the moment. You know, I probably could have just kept this simple and <laughs> saved myself time and effort considering that this is a live stream and not me spending like several hours. <laughs> I'll probably go back and fix these pieces afterwards if I'm gonna like finish them up and put them on Twitter and stuff. So they might look a little different when they're done. But hopefully it's cool for you guys to kind of see my process. And he has a big sleevey. A big sleevey on top of his other sleevey. This dude's just all clothes. It's just full of armor. He's got like another sleeve on top of his glove. He's got like a sleeve here. Oh, I'll figure that out later. <laughs> yeah, it's like he's got this top sleeve, which I'm assuming is like the the chainmail sleeve, and then this sleeve, which is like I guess like a leather jacket sleeve under it. And then I guess he has his clothes? But then he's just got a big glove. You guys had to suggest a character that has complex armour. <laughs> Alright, let's do some of his face. I was going to draw him how I have him in the game, and my Geralt doesn't have the big flowing locks right now. He's got 
the kind of like fluffy mohawk with a oh god this might be too fluffy <laughs> I've gone too far into the fluff um yeah he's got the fluffy mohawk with the um the ponytail in the back because I wanted to mix things up going into the new place He's looking like a real punk right now. Is Joel that thick the one I've put a beard on him? Looking a lot more like an anime protagonist with this hair. It's anime, Geralt. I can actually look at. I can look at chat properly now that I'm not trying to look at reference as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he isn't he isn't that buff. He's he's just hiding. He's really insecure about how not buff he is, so he just wears like fifty layers of clothing to make him seem more buff. This is a Witcher. Whether or not it's Geralt is completely up to you, I suppose. <laughs> Gotta get his big witchery nose right. Might be a little too big. <laughs> this man's face. He grumped.
<laughs> this is looking absolutely nothing like Geralt. Give him that thicker forehead. Made his face far too round. Bad jawline with the race marks. <laughs> Get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's all about the eyebrows, apparently. Apparently, with I without eyebrows, you cannot tell whether or not this is Geralt. <laughs> Alright. Now I've got to get his, his eyes right. <laughs> Geralt is nothing without his eyebrows. Ah, need a small brush.
Hmm. It's from all that scowling he's doing. It's giving him some like major brow muscles. That is way too. Mm. Garrett has a harder face than I was anticipating. <laughs> Some characters' faces I get, like, immediately, and other characters I'm like, I won't get your face right in a thousand years. His nose looks wrong. It's more straight, I think. It's more straight, and then, like... Looks a little better. High cheekbone as well. I want to make him more scowly. He's not scowly enough for me. He's not scowly enough to be going into battle. Now he more anger. Oh yeah, he has the like scar up here. <laughs> Gal needs his boss music. He's not going to be fighting dragons to some dandelion ballad. Is like goth witcher makeup on as well. I might have made this eye too long. It's Geralt of Rivia from Witcher 3. It's our game character number one. Gotta get 
get those stress lines in. He's not looking as good as I was hoping, but it's okay. <laughs> this happens sometimes. I clearly just need to draw Geralt a bit more. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks for the support. I appreciate it. just because all the references I'm looking at have him with like the long like he's got the long flowing hair back here like as soon as I add that in he looks way more like Geralt <laughs> maybe I should just add that hair in just to make him look more like Geralt because apparently my game Geralt does not look like him It's too big. There we go. Now he looks a lot more like Geralt. <laughs> I'm still keeping the fluffy top though. He can still have his undercut. Now, my Geralt in game is also wearing little super villain glasses. <laughs> Which I think he pulls off quite well. But they do obscure his cat eyes, so I'm not going to include them. But those, those are what my, my Geralt are wearing. So he's going around looking like this. And we, we will turn those off. <laughs> okay, I need to draw his medallion, at the very least. Um, but I need a picture of his medallion. Probably not how you spell it. Okay. He has to have his medallion, otherwise how is he supposed to 
feel when there's magic around. He needs his magic senses are tingling. And Gurry Wolf. So that's smaller pen. I think I've come to realize, like, as I'm trying to like draw a lot more professionally and efficiently, that I actually leave a lot of like fixing things to when I'm like doing line art. So I like go back and like refine things a little bit more just before I do the line art stage, and then like fully complete the lines, or I just kind of interpret a lot of what my sketch is and then just line art over it <laughs> and then it just looks okay putting a lot of reliance on just my innate understanding of what my sketch is trying to do That's not right. <laughs> this medallion looks really goofy, the way I've drawn it. <laughs> this is like, there's a, there's a like side quest guy in the main game who's like pretending to be a witcher, and he's like. He's stolen like another witch's medallion or whatever, but I kind of imagine like somebody pretending to be a witcher and he's got like a counterfeit medallion and it looks like this. <laughs> Okay. He's got an angry little wolf on his chest. An angry wolf for the angry wolf man. There we go. not saved this entire sketch so this is a good time for me to do that. <laughs> okay I've been drawing this boy for like 50 minutes so I'm not gonna do any more armor detailing or anything I'm gonna leave him here but I should have probably gone for the easier characters as a warm-up and then got into this. But you know what? He's looking pretty alright. He looks like he's about to kick ass. 
Um, before I finish it, I'm just gonna imply that there is another sword back here. <laughs> he's gotta have two swords. Otherwise he's not a witcher. Right? He's gotta have a medallion and two swords. There we go. Now it just looks like he's got a little like thing sitting on his head, but... Okay, there we go. Geralt of Rivia. Woohoo! Geralt of Rivia! He's been... He's been completed. Pop the confetti. Woo! Okay. Uh, I'll get rid of the glasses later. Pop him in his own little folder for later. Say goodbye to Geralt, everyone. Actually, you know what? I'll just... I'll make him smaller. Move him over here. There we go, he can exist off to the side now. So you can still see him and know that he exists. Geralt is very happy to accept this payment for his existence. Uh, right, okay, now I'm gonna, I'm gonna draw something a bit simpler. I'm gonna draw Eevee. <laughs> Drawing a nice cute Pokemon will be a good middle ground before I then probably jump into drawing Maria. Okay. <laughs> yes, he can he can sit in the corner and think about all of the all of the people who have died because of him. He is responsible for many a demise. Okay. Eevee time! Let's draw an Eeb. I have a question for everyone. Who is your favorite evolution? I will wait for possible replies and then I will tell you mine. Because I feel like everyone has a favorite evolution. If it's not Eevee, even themselves. Because technically Eevee counts as an evolution. It's just the, the first state of it. Make this a little smaller on the page. Sylveon, Umbreon. Vaporeon, very good choices. I mean, there is no wrong choice in this. All the evolutions are fantastic. Can anyone guess my favorite evolution? If you're gonna give me an Eevee personality test, which evolution do you think I would like the most? Hmm. 
<laughs> Vaporeon's a salty sea dog. <laughs> This is a very fluffy Eevee. They've just been to the groomers. Got all their all their undercoat brushed out and now they're super fluff. Flareon is a good guess, because at one point it was Flareon. Back in the original 150. But it is not Flareon anymore. I do love Flareon though, Flareon is great. Back when I had Pokemon Stadium, back on my N64, Flareon was always in my team. It's not Leafeon. Leafeon is a cool design though. We have a winner! It is Espeon! Espeon is my favourite evolution. It's just so sleek and so cool looking. Typically I'm a fire type kind of person. I love fire types. I will have a team full of fire types. As long as they're not fire and fighting. I think fire and fighting are the worst things that have ever happened in Pokemon history. Um, but there are two exceptions to my fire types are the best rule. And that's Espeon and Gardevoir. My, my two psychic weaknesses. <laughs> It has been a long time since you had my voice. It's been a long time since I've been on any platform where you would hear my voice. <laughs> mm. I love Charmanders. They are very, very adorable. I always hated the fact that Charizard and Ash didn't get on in the show. Like, they ended up working together a few times, but they never really, they never really got along. And it meant that Ash couldn't have Charizard in his team very often. Mm, that's, that makes us far too far out. <laughs> God, yeah, I don't remember the last time 
was it at your birthday? Like, or like, God, I swear it was in our early twenties or something. Was the last time I saw you, Lenny? But then before that, it was like when we were kids. <laughs> I'm having big problems trying to figure out Evie's hind legs right now. Oh, it was your 18th. Yes. That was that was some very interesting pizza. I remember I did it have like some crazy toppings or something? I was only a decade. <laughs> Geralt having a giant Eevee mount instead of Roach. He just calls his Eevee Roach because he calls all of his all of his horses Roach. Transform. Such a handy tool. <laughs> Eevee is begging for your coins. They have a Meowth back home they need to feed. <laughs> now that would be fun. Though I did like the Neckaroos very much, you know that they were my favourite part of that game. really like enjoying this playlist. <laughs> this music is fun. The little paws. This this is what the pause would look like if Evie was to touch the screen. Little beans. Small beans. <laughs> Little peeties. Hmm. <laughs> 
you poke the beans, they give you wishes. <laughs> First you got grumpy old man, now you get cute little beans. Look at this little EB. They're giving you a little high five for all your good work. Evie supports your dreams. <laughs> we have variety in the stream. And now we're gonna go from this cute little dude over to Lady Maria. Our horrible scary waifu. That might be a bit too much. <laughs> okay, I think we have a cute little cute little Eevee here that we can say is pretty much finished. <laughs> Thank you. I did try my best. I actually haven't drawn a Pokemon in ages so it's actually really nice to draw. A cute little Pokemon for a change. 
I hope everyone thinks he is su sufficiently fluffy. Uh, they have to layer him over a little bit. I don't want to make it too small. There we go. <laughs> Geralt of Rivia and his starter Pokemon Eevee. <laughs> He's now Gary of Pallet Town. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna look up some references for Maria. Lady Maria of the Astral Clock Tower. Actually, let's all stand up and have a little bit of a stretch because everyone can do with a bit of a stretch. If you're sitting down at your desk or on your sofa or in bed and you're able to get up and have a stretch, please do so. I've been drawing for over an hour now and I definitely need to stretch it out a little bit. And also, everyone, remember to hydrate if you have some hydration near you. And if you do not, please acquire some hydration. This is your reminder. Stretch and hydrate, yes. Stretch and hydrate time. Even if all you can do is just, like, stretch your wrists out. Give it a go. <laughs> yes, I could definitely do with a bot that's just like, You have been drawing for 35 minutes. Please remember to stretch and hydrate. I may be an AI, but I do not want your human form to wither and die. Oh, that's good. Auto saves in uh, auto saves in art programs should become definitely like a big thing. Like, um, I've had. Clip Studio Paint crash on me a couple times, and it's really good at like saving a recovery file. But I think it only does a recovery file like every ten minutes or so, every five or ten minutes. So if you've done like a lot of detail in that five or ten minutes, then you end up losing out a bit. But at least it does have a recovery file, which is very good. We'd love to see it. <laughs> Well, at least they know. At least they know it's so buggy that they should definitely have an autosave system. Okay, I hope everyone is stretched out and rehydrated. I have had a big gulp of my water and a nice sip of tea. And then some stretchies. Ugh, gotta ugh, shift my chair back into place. put my drawing glove back on and now let's draw us some Lady Maria she has like some crazy stuff going on with her cravat I need a closer look on that okay
I'm gonna go for a pose right now. Probably gonna regret this in like five minutes. <laughs> got those big juicy swords so she's threatening you with them better watch out cause she'll come for you <laughs> Hopefully this pose will pay off. <laughs> Hell yeah it is. That was she's already stabbed you in the gut and she's just picking you up on her sword. She taunts you in death. <laughs> you can flail all you like, Hunter. You're not escaping this dream.
<laughs> it does. Let me see if I can find something that's a little bit more appropriate for our lady. Let's try spooky. Oh, there we go. If this music is too much, just let me know and I'll switch it back. <laughs> this is Lady Maria's music. Ooh. Very cool. What's the new Tales game called? I feel like you told me and I've completely forgotten. Hey Dan! Long time no see. Thank you. First art stream in a while. I'm feeling a little rusty <laughs> drawing in front of other people. But doing okay. Ah yes, Tales of Rise. Or is it a rise or a rise? <laughs> I always feel like tales of games are never pronounced the way I expect them to be pronounced. <laughs> Is this the same song?
<laughs> okay, so I've got this switch to YouTube friendly, and it might be that there is only one YouTube friendly song in the Spooky playlist. So unfortunately, we'll have to say goodbye to Spooky playlist. Hmm. Let's try some emo. <laughs> Hell yeah! <laughs> oh, this is... This is my late teens right here. Hey, why'd you stop? What the fuck? Oh, it was like one short clip of a song. I am sad. <laughs> okay, cool. It is a rise. This has all the emo music tropes. Can I talk to you again? <laughs> No, she's got like a tiny dagger. Oh, thank you. I do like drawing like flowy things. A secret joy of mine. watching some of the oh god I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw up the name of it the Tales of Zisteria anime because I, I played the game for Zisteria I wanted to see what the anime was like in comparison as very very nice special effects in it I haven't seen any of the other animes. Christ and all these things 
What are some good tales of anime? Like, which ones would you recommend the most? Oh, Tales of Eternia, that's like a pretty old one, isn't it? Sisteria. Um, I've heard good things about Symphonia. Um, and the main reason why I liked Sisteria was just because I liked the. Um, it was like a, a blue haired kid who's like the MC's best friend. I just really liked him a lot. <laughs> I'm very easily swayed by a singular character that I like the most. <laughs> It was pretty fun. It's kind of like a um, real time, real time action, I guess. Where like you're you're battling in real time, but you can like kind of like what we did with um, the Final Fantasy VII remake, where you can then choose like spells and stuff to cast as you're actively fighting, and I think you can like. It was a while ago that I played it, but you can like switch between the characters you have in your party and stuff, and have specific moves and summon summon other entities. Ah, uh, so Eternia was the first one. I should finish the Zestiria one. No, I'm not talking about Symphonia. I'm talking about Sisteria. There's like a... Let me see if I can find a picture of them. Here he is. This is my boy. This kid. This kid was my favorite character in Tales of Sisteria. <laughs> he's just such a good best friend. And he's so, like, sarky. I love him. And he falls into my typical category of loving light-haired characters with, like, purple or red eyes. <laughs> Yes, Miklio.
Okay, I think I've done enough on her clothes, so I'm gonna start drawing her face now. <laughs> She's got the cool hunter's hat. This will probably be my last sketch for the night and then next time I come on I will start with Breath of the Wild Link as like a leftover from this one and maybe maybe also draw Gascoigne and Dandelion. Maybe I'll just do a follow up stream to this one and then I'll do a request stream after that one. I'm realising that I have absolutely no idea how the hunter's hat actually is structured. <laughs> I think I've made it way too big on her head. Needs to be lower on her eye line. Uh. Probably should have drawn this separately to her layer so I could then adjust it. But oh well, we, we make mistakes, we learn from them. It's okay, Elliot. I, I will teach you the weeb ways. I will weaponize you with weeb knowledge. Um, is there a particular reason why I do? <laughs> um, I don't think I always do. I think um, sometimes I leave it till last because I feel like the expression is like the icing on the cake to the character like i want to get the pose down and then the pose will dictate a lot about how the expression on the face will function um and it will like help me with uh getting the perspective right and getting um like any extra motion into it like if the character is particularly using like force like say it's a it's a particularly um, perspective heavy piece that's like in mid motion it's going to affect how the expression would look so I think I've just kind of gotten used to leaving the expression till last so I can really nail it as into like the, the pose that's actually going on but if it's like if it's a still piece like if it's a portrait piece or something I definitely just like get down the shape of the the person like in whatever direction I'm doing and then um, probably sketch down the hair first and then the face. I tend to always draw the hair first so I know how the hair is interacting with the face. What's that? I still feel like this hat is too big. I hope that made any sense. <laughs>
this is good. I'm glad it made sense. Oh, sick, really? Which of four started development? Nice! I wonder what they're gonna do for it. I'm wondering where they can go after. Um, oh god, what are they called? The um, the the cold people. <laughs> Why can I not remember what they're called? The the army of the frost people. <laughs> the bad elves from the other realm. The wild hunt. That's what they're called. <laughs> My brain went entirely blank on that. Yeah, I wonder where they're going to go from the Wild Hunt. I've only read like three of the books. I'm on the fourth book. So I have no idea like where it continues on. If it does continue on at all. Or if they're taking it completely away from the books. Pick up time. Any of you know me particul particularly well know that I hiccup constantly. <laughs> Let's see if I can actually get her face right because you don't really see her face very much. <laughs> I'm surprised as well. I think it's probably to do with a mixture of nerves and focusing. <laughs> Oh, 
I need more practice drawing hats. This hat is destroying me. It looks very dumb on her head. I am very upset by this hat. <laughs> yeah, I just need to have it go over her eyeline a bit more. I'm gonna... Cut it. Go on a different layer. I'm drawing on the hat layer now. <laughs> Hats are hard.
Lady Maria is tired. She's had to deal with a lot of bullshit for a very long time. She's pretty sick of guarding this watch out watchtower at this point. About her facial proportions aren't quite doing it for me though. Oh, Hunter, you've disappointed her. You've entered the old dream. I don't think Maria will ever forgive you. Oh, whoops. Of course I put the pen colours of black by accident. <laughs> Do this with the oil pen.
<laughs> they could do with something a little bit extra. The blood power is really cool. Okay, there we have it. There's Lady Maria. She's gonna kick your ass. <laughs> yeah, this has been this has been good fun. I think we got some some good sketches out of this. Let me just save it. Oh, God. all the hiccups have come now. So yeah, we let me just put Maria in a folder. Oh, oops. So we have Geralt of Rivia for our contestant number one, and then Little Evie for contestant number two, and Lady Maria of the Astro Clock Tower for contestant number three. Yeah, this has been this has been good fun. I definitely think I uh, needed a warm up before I did Geralt, but uh, maybe I'll maybe I'll do another drawing of Geralt at some point. But I'm really liking the Maria one. I think the Maria one looks really rad. So yeah, this was good fun. Definitely want to be doing this stuff a little bit more often. Um, as I said, next time I think I'll probably just continue on with the requests that I couldn't get around to this stream. Um, but I will be doing a request stream probably the time after that, uh, see what people in the chat actually want, and if nobody wants anything then I'll just draw whatever I want. Um, but yeah, if uh, any of you have any requests for future streams please let me know uh, over on my, my Twitter or in the comments of this video when it eventually goes live. Um, not not live, uh, into my uh, videos because I will save the the live stream after it's done. Uh, the VOD. The VOD is the word I was looking for. Um, but apart from that, thanks for hanging out with me and I uh, hope to see you next time. Have a good evening or afternoon or morning, wherever you are, and I will